if the aim is to reduce further occurrences and to stop people from going through this path, we don't see the sort of the Muslim world as sort of like a better example, a safer world than the mm -hmm. Western world. In the Western world, in terms of the death penalty, we have rehabilitation uh, programs instead of penalizing the person. We see them as a victim of some circumstances. So isn't that much? And the results of it is that the Western world is much more safer in terms of crimes as well. So why is there such disparity if, if it, this is the sort of the commandment of the words of God? Mm -hmm. So in the first place, you'll find that many Muslim countries, they don't follow these laws the way they should be followed. And there are a lot of procedural loopholes and prisoners, they get free. Uh, they get bailed out of uh, their courts. And it is not because there is any flaw in the Islamic system. It's the procedural part in which countries, uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, procedural laws and delays. And uh, as a result, uh, uh, people don't even get caught at times and if they get caught they get bailed so they they roam around in the society uh, lose but there are uh, countries for example if you look at saudi arabia and some other countries in which there are strict uh, punishments uh, which are implemented that you'll see that the crime rate is very very little and it's almost negligible because they know that if they do something so grave they'll be very really punished so uh, you can take the example of saudi arabia and the third thing is that as far as rehabil rehabilitation is concerned, remember that rehabilitation is uh, something that's just going to affect the person who has committed the crime. And uh, it's not going to stop any further outbreak of the crime because people know that uh, at least they're going to live if they kill some other people. And oh yes, they can go to a, a rehabilitation center, live there in peace, uh, have food, even enjoy a game or two. So that is something will that will never stop Crime, uh, a crime like murder to end because you see when you know that you can kill someone and then not be killed in return you can i mean always compromise that okay i live the rest of my life in, in in jail maybe and then there are amnesties also in which after 10 years or 14 years you get pardoned uh, you get out so i think that that is how things are working otherwise wherever there is a strict implementation of uh, this, this punishment, you'll find that the crime rate has really fallen. 